Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I told you that I've been shopping a lot. <laughs> New York definitely reignited my spark and love of shopping. I had been not in stores for quite a while before that. Coupled with that, with going through my closet and doing my clear out that I still haven't finished, making my updated wish list video, I realised there's quite a few gaps in my wardrobe for staple pieces to be able to pull looks together and boy, I have been a woman on a mission when it comes to filling those gaps and making my wardrobe work for autumn and winter in the way that I want to be able to wear things and put things together. So today, in this video, I have a huge, massive Kurt Gagger haul to share with you. Everything isn't even here. There is something else from Kurt Gagger that I ordered. They didn't have my size. That's being shipped to me. I have two massive bags to share with you from them. I also have a piece of Prada ready to wear to share with you in this video. Stay tuned. As I told you, I have been unleashed on the shopping scene. Kurt Gagger wouldn't really be something that I have bought a lot from recently. I used to, when I was younger, buy a lot of their footwear when I was in my very high heels, very platform high heels vibe. But I saw these boots online. It made me go into the store. I know Nick from Living Life Loud with NJS loves Kurt Gagger. And when I went into store, I found quite a few hidden gems. And we are home with these. So, it wouldn't be me if I didn't drop something and I've just ripped that, but we won't, we won't, we will not focus on that. The first thing I'm going to share with you, if I can get it out, cause it's massive, is in this box. Their packaging, by the way, is fabulous. I absolutely love it. I love the color. I think this is so cool. And they've definitely evolved since when I was buying those big platforms that I'm telling you about. These boots are fabulous. I'm going to link these down below if I can find them online. For anybody that is looking for a knee high boot, with the trend of the season, which is the wider leg. That definitely works for me. I find a lot of knee-high boots are very tight going up my calf and I hate that. These are just something about them. They're not just plain black. The heel in these, I have no doubt that I am going to be able to wear these all day. I think these are stunningly, stunningly beautiful. Now, I'm going to try on everything that I have bought for you and show it on. For reference, I am an EU 38 or a UK size 5 in shoes. All of the boots and the footwear I have to show you are true to size. And I am a UK size 12 when it comes to clothing. So these, these are the first pair. And this is what brought, I'm, I'm, I'm making a mess. But this is what brought me into store. These are leather. They are, they're not patent, but they're shiny. So they're not going to crack the same way that patent does. They do have this mock croc look on them. And then they have this piece on the toe, which is the Medusa from, I think it's the Medusa. That, no, it's not. Medusa's Versace, isn't it? Mm. Stay with us, Amelia. It's the eagle head, the eagle head that is Kurt Gagger that is here in black on the toe. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, if you can see that. I was worried that that would be too much and I was worried that I wouldn't like the look of that when I saw them online. When I tried them on though, absolutely fabulous. It doesn't bother me at all. Actually, I think this and another pair that I'm gonna show you really add something to it. But yes, we have this eagle head with the stones in it to make it shine. This matte black piece on the toe. They do have this line up the front of them and they have this small heel. Let me see if it tells me. It doesn't tell me the height of the heel, but you can see it's very small. Well, for me, that's a very small heel. That's something that I'm going to be able to wear all day and all night. And I absolutely love these. These are priced in the UK at 299 pounds they do have the zip up the inside of them as i say i will try them on so you can see them on me the only thing i would say about these i am five foot one ideally my leg would have been an inch longer <laughs> or the boot would have been an inch shorter because on me they're basically up to my kneecap but I didn't care. I still thought they looked fabulous. The zip on the inside, very, very comfortable. The lady in the store who was wearing these actually and told me that she wears them all day on her shifts, which from the way she'd styled them, they looked fabulous. I imagine she does do that. So these are the first pair that I have to show you. And I just, these, these, if you're, if you're going to buy, if you're looking for a pair of knee high boots and you like any of these, these, if I was only buying one, these were absolutely coming home with me. They are, they're stunning, stunning, stunning boots. Those are what I went in for. 
<laughs> got a little bit carried away and as I say there's still a pair to come these Kurt Gagger London also still in the fabulous box when I saw these online I thought these weren't for me I thought the toe cap on these was definitely too much and I thought that I wouldn't like these thought that they wouldn't work saw them in store saw them in person tried them on how much are these? These were £249, also an EU38. And these are the shorter version, the ankle version of the same boots. They are wide on the leg as well. And you'll see when I try them on that they're not tight stuck around my leg. One of the things I don't like about wearing ankle boots with skirts is when they're tight, tight, tight to my leg because I think it makes my legs look bigger and I just don't like that look. These, when I zip them up, are wider. They still have the leather that looks like it's got mock croc. They have the zip up the inside. They have the same small heel. The thing that's different about the ankle version is obviously the hardware. So the gold in these, or the zip sorry in these is gold and the toe cap on these is gold. And I thought I wouldn't like this, but actually they're fabulous. I think these will be fabulous either with short skirts and the look that I'm wearing today, or I thought what would be great with these would be a denim jumpsuit with the leg turned up a little bit. So as you could see these coming out, you could see the boot and you could see this fabulous piece that initially I thought wasn't going to work. So they have the eagle head on them as well, which is the Kurt Gagger sign. They have the little bit of crystal and sparkle on the head and then the gold toe box there. Again, love them absolutely love them. I have been sleeping on Kurt Gagger for a while. Nick did tell me that. You were right my friend and I will link Nick's channel down below. He's fabulous but these are the ankle version of those and I, I just love them. I'm quite excited to put them on with my outfit and go and show you what these look like on. They're that cool. Taking a break from footwear but sticking with Kurt Gagger. When I was in store, you know the way I'm a bit of a magpie. <laughs> the shiny things caught my eye. They come in this beautiful pink velvet box with Kurt Gagger on the top of them. And this particular ring is part of the Be Kind collection. It is the Be Kind band ring in multicolor. This was £59 and I got this in the medium to large size. And I just love it. It is, let me put it on so as you can see, it has brass or gold colouring around the back. But the ring is these coloured gemstones. And this caught my eye from across the store. If you know my collection, it's probably not a surprise. No, I put this one on that one. So I bought it in the medium to large so as I could wear it on my index finger. And I just love all those coloured stones along with it. I think that is fab. And that's not the sort of ring that I'm going to want to spend a huge amount of money on because it's coloured gemstones. But I loved it and that is the first jewellery piece that I brought home. I did get one more that comes in this blue Kurt Gagger velvet box. And by the way, no, this is not sponsored by Kurt Gagger. I just went in for a pair of knee-high boots and saw the pretty young got very carried away. This is the second ring that I got. And again, if you know me and my collection on my channel, this is going to be no surprise. This is a bigger sort of ring and it has these gold sparkles the whole way around. I just loved it. I thought it was so cool. And I bought that for this finger. So I have the big one on my ring finger on this hand and this one on that. And I just really liked it. Now, obviously I'm not scared of color and glitter and in your faceness. This look is not going to be for everybody. <laughs> But it is for me and I, I just love them. So when I saw those in store when I was on my footwear shopping spree, they came home too. Last from Kurt Gagger that I have, as I say, there's another bit they didn't have my size that has been ordered in. And if you watched my wish list video, I had been going to buy a pair of ankle boots from Le Bouton from Brown Thomas, plain black ankle boots to wear with the type of thing that I'm wearing today. Those I am no longer going to buy because of the piece that's coming. And I can tell you that all of the boots cost me less 
than what the Louboutin boots were going to cost me if I had bought the ones I had been planning on. And I think the ones that are coming will look just as well, if not better, with the looks that I was intending to put with them. Now, that does mean that I have Brown Thomas points left that are going to expire soon. I'm going to order something else with those so as they're not wasted. But let's be honest, it's not like there's a scarcity of things I can order from Brown Thomas with my points. But the next thing, and I had also saw these online, um, I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking for these. These are the winter white cream type boots from Kurt Gagger. They have the slightly higher heel, but it is still a very manageable heel, certainly for me. These were £229 and the colour is described as bone. They do have a square toe. And what I was thinking, although I haven't tried these on yet, but I was thinking these would look fabulous with the Dior cuff jeans, the jeans that I bought in New York that have the turn up of the oblique on the bottom. And I've worn them recently with red boots. I think they would look fabulous with these. I also thought these would look fabulous with my pink flared cords. And I thought they would look fabulous with a neutral winter white type look. And that's why I bought these. But again, being winter white boots or cream boots, I didn't want to spend Le Bouton type money on them, so these worked perfectly for me. They also have the eagle head on them here. I'll put this down. They also have the eagle head on here, which is sparkling and it is brass coloured. And the zip on these is brass coloured and I thought they were very, very cool. I know they're not inexpensive at £229, but they're better than paying luxury type prices, I thought, especially when I was buying this many, to add into my wardrobe and to just make different pieces work. But I thought they were beautiful. A really beautiful winter white ecru cream type boot that I think will go with a lot of those types of outfits that I'm talking about, like those jeans or those cords, I think will work really, really well. So these are also new to my wardrobe. And lastly, and if you watched my recent wish list video, this is going to come as no surprise. This is Prada ready to wear. It has the Prada Milano. I don't want to take the tag off it, but it has the Prada Milano on the dust bag here. And I ordered this from Harrods in the UK because I didn't get to try this on before I ordered it. And it's hugely expensive. I, when I ordered this, I couldn't get it out of my head. It was living rent free. I was obsessing on it and going to visit it on the website. I knew I had to order it, but it was £6,100. And I equally knew that if this was going to stay here, I had to put this on and absolutely love it. I had to think, I can't live without that. It's It had to look perfect. It had to sit on me perfect. It had to just have that feeling whenever I did order it. Now, I've already tried this and I'm pretty sure this is going back. And the fact that I'm saying to you, I'm pretty sure it's going back means I don't love it enough for it to be staying. And it's not the jacket. I think the jacket is beyond cool. I think if this had been cut right for me, I would be keeping this regardless of the ridiculously stupid price. But I think, and I will try it on to show you, there's just something not right about it. I think maybe across the back. So on the back of it, it's a beautiful worn leather look. You can see it looks like worn leather. It's, it's the sort of jacket that in my opinion is going to get better with age. This is the sort of jacket you're going to be able to wear for years and years and years. So if this fits you, I think it's going to be absolutely stunning. I love the worn leather look of it. I love the little Prada triangle here. The yellow works really, really well with this jacket. The yellow is not bright. They have kind of made the yellow look as if it's kind of dirty to go with the worn leather look of the jacket, but that works. It works with it to have had this bright, clean yellow, I don't think would have worked. I think the way they have done it just works fabulously. I love the pay on it here. I love the cuff. I love the way it comes in. You can see it has the same cuffs as if they're jersey cuffs with the yellow on the sleeves and it has it on the back of the bottom sorry of the jacket. It's very heavy. Even holding it up like this is very, very heavy. It has popper buttons which open very easily and on the inside it has this quilting and is all black. It's beautiful but I think when I put it on it overwhelms me. 
I don't know if the back of it has not been cut correctly. It feels like there's too much leather. It feels like it's too big. It might just be the size is too big. It is oversized. We are going to Paris shortly. I will see if I can try this in Paris in the size down because it is stunning. Although my husband will have a heart attack when he sees the price tag. But this one, it just doesn't... There's just something about it's not right. And I don't even know if a smaller size is going to work around here. It it just feels like there's so much leather and I'm lost in it and it kind of overwhelms me and it kind of feels a little bit that I'm pay that I'm playing dress up in grown up's clothes, if that makes sense, that it's just too big and maybe it's just the wrong size, but I think it's the cut. I think the cut just doesn't work. And whilst my bank balance is breathing a huge sigh of relief. It is a real shame because it's absolutely stunning. I mean, you see it with what I'm wearing it today. That's what I pictured it with. And it, it's, oh, it's fabulous. But I just, for that sort of money, it needed to be absolutely perfect. And I just don't think this fits me right. I think the shape, the cut just overwhelms my size and shape. And I, I think this has to go back. And I'm quite sad about that. I'm kind of relieved also, but I'm quite sad about that because I think it's such a cool jacket and I would have been wearing this forever. So those are the latest pieces into my wardrobe. A huge amount of them from Kurt Geiger, which is not normally a brand that I show you that much of, but those boots are fabulous. So I wanted to share them. Prada Ready To Wear, which unfortunately I don't think is going to work for me, but I'm really enjoying trying different things, ordering different things, looking at the gaps in my wardrobe, playing with clothes again and putting it together and it feels fabulous. And I probably am more comfortable doing that this year because if you've followed me, you'll know that I'm more comfortable myself now. And it's definitely a lot of fun. Let me know what you think of these pieces that I've shared with you today. What do you think of the Kirk Gagger boots? What do you think of the Prada jacket? And I will have tried everything on so you'll have seen it on me. So let me know in the comment box if you think I'm doing the right thing by thinking this doesn't work and sending it back and what do you think of all of the boots. If you've enjoyed this in any way please do give it a thumbs up. I will link everything down below for you in the description box. If you are not done with me yet I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.